What's up guys? Uh, it's Borbird987 here coming to you with another build tutorial. Uh, a lot of people really seem to like the last one which is awesome. Um, so I've actually included a discord link in the description of this video. Uh, if, if you build one of the builds and want to send a screenshot or something I just think that would be really cool to send it in the discord. I think it's, I think it's really cool to see people building the stuff you built. So uh, anyways just gonna give a quick tour of this modern house. So uh, I came up with this design based on a picture I had seen of a modern house and I really liked it. Um, it's actually, it's pretty simple, so just, just going around quick to show you guys everything on it. Uh, really not a whole lot. Um, pretty, pretty simple build, but I think it looks cool if you, if you, you and your friends are doing some type of modern server or anything. I think that, that could be really sweet. So. Uh, to begin with, I'll go ahead and throw up the materials that you're going to need on the screen now. Uh, feel free to pause this section and take notes, that way you can make sure you have all the materials you're going to need. Uh, the next one is the foundation, which I have laid out right here uh, as an example. So I've actually laid this out with a specific number of blocks, so you can actually see that right now. So if you want to go ahead and pause that and work on that. Or you can work along with me as I go ahead and build this. So with that said, let's let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna begin by placing one of the or by placing the four blocks for the garage section. So you take one here, one, two, three, four, you skip four blocks, place another one here. Uh, and this one is light gray concrete. Then you go one, two, three, four, five, six. After that, place another one, and then do the same over here. Okay, now we've got the section for the garage spot filled out. So the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is take your white concrete, and then we're gonna begin laying out the foundation of the house. You go one, two, three, four blocks over, place a block here. Then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks of white concrete here. The next we take the acacia wood, we just go uh, bring it out one, then go over four, put it here, pretty simple. Uh, and then we take the stripped acacia wood, and when you're doing this, make sure to place it on the block right in front of you like this, so that way it lines up horizontally, and you'll be able to see what I mean in a little bit. So we take that nine blocks out, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we take white concrete, go another one, two, three, four. And then from here, we take it back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we go in four, so two, three, four. And from here, we come out another eight blocks, including this one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then from here we go 10 blocks, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then, a f then 5 blocks including this one out, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 12 blocks across, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Come back another 5 blocks, so we got 1, 2, three, four, five, so we're even with that. Then we take the acacia wood and we go seven blocks, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we take another seven blocks this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then what we're gonna wanna do, take the six blocks, including this way, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then this should connect us right to here. As you can see, those line up nicely, so it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're connected right there. Another part of the foundation you'll want to probably do uh, sooner rather than later, because I think this works a little bit easier. Um, it's for the porch that's going to come off the back. So from here, so we go one spot in at this corner and we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we take it 11 blocks this way, including this one. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11. Then we can just go ahead and connect this with this wall right here. And we should be good there. So then we've got the whole layout done, uh, as you can see exactly how we had done it before. So the next step will be, uh, there's actually a couple different ways you can do this, but I think one of the easier ways is just to take this and go up seven here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and do that with all of these. Okay, so we've got that little bit lined up. Uh, pretty, pretty easy. And then for the next step, you can go ahead and do this, put another block on top of this, and then come out two, one, two, and do this with all of these in both directions. So one, two, and two, except for the back part here. For the back part, you're only gonna wanna go over, th this will be where it ends. So you will just connect it uh, from here. So you can go ahead and connect these like this. As you can see, we're just kind of connecting them in one big, uh, one big square. Nope. Now that we've done that, uh, we can actually go ahead and get started on this part of the wall. So this is also going to come up seven. So you're going to go two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this will actually end up being kind of covered by that. And then what you're actually going to want to do here is you're going to want to take uh, gray wool. I, I think light gray wool works pretty nicely here. And then when you're one in, go ahead, place those. It just kind of it breaks it up a little bit. Um, I, I just think it looks pretty nice. So you go ahead and place those five high. One, two, three, four, five. And then two wide. Go ahead and place another of the white concrete rows up seven and you can go ahead and fill in this part so it just looks like that and then next what you're going to want to do is go too high so you can fill in this row two three four this section right here this can already go up one or go up seven three four five six seven and then you can take the stained black glass paint plane and go ahead and place this in a little little three by three uh window here it's just it'll look it looks nice in the front then you can go ahead and fill in these sections with white concrete and that's that's good that's good for that part um so for this section right here this is actually going to go a total of 19 blocks high, so what we'll do is just take all these up 19 blocks. So two, so we'll do layer two, then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So then we. So that part right there is done. Actually, one of the things you can do as well, um, some of this won't be seen, but you can go ahead and do that just to lay down the foundation. So we've already gone up seven with this. So the next step is to go up another 10. So we'll have 17 total. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You want that to be about two from the uh, from the top that way the chimney part sticks over a bit which mind you the chimney itself uh not too functionable because uh the whole wood and whatnot <laughs> you can't really you can't really have the wood be there oops so that's a bit too too high there and then what you can actually do is come over here and take this up or 14 high so first what we'll do is we'll put in this second row right here and then what we'll do we go you go two in from the center and then place one two three four five black glass panes uh, and essentially we're just gonna create a little five by three uh, thing for the window here so you can go ahead and add that in like that and then bring this over here 
you can bring this row up. So that way, the reason that I'm bringing these up right now is because that way you can actually have the wood facing to the side. So that way it gives like this nice uh, look as if all the things are horizontal. So we can just go ahead and bring that in. So then there you have that first section of the wall. And so let's see, so right here, we can take this one up already. We know that this section over here goes up 17 blocks. So since we don't have any windows or anything here, we can do the same here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So what we can go ahead and do, so we have this going up one, two, three, four, five, six. We want it to go up a total of 14, so, but we aren't going to go all the way across since there's another big window up there. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's how that's going to look. You can actually bring this one across because uh, this one's going to be partially covered there. So we actually we go you go too deep for each of these. At least for now. I'll do the same on this side. Too deep. Okay, so for the next step what you want to do is go over like this to this uh, border right here. Count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you can bring this out three blocks and uh, fill this in all the way up to where it just crosses the little chimney area here. Uh, it should cross that twice. So we have one, two, and that's as far as you want to take that one. So then you can go ahead and fill this part in. Um, fill these in, just kind of essentially fill almost the whole thing in, except for this square right here, which you should, it, as you can see, this is centered here. This is where we're going to put one of the redstone lamps later to make it kind of hang down. So this is this is the start of this one. Start the bottom half of it with the acacia slabs. So this part, this is what looks kind of cool. I think is you add these in one, two. You want it, you don't want it sticking all the way out here. So just go too deep. And then for here, uh, skip that one because that'll be where the redstone lamp hangs down continue to fill this in like this and that section is pretty much good for now so now what we're gonna want to do is bring this wall or this this base over here all the way up to the edge of this chimney area so we do two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve there then we add in this one fill it in there and you can take this one all the way back to uh, this part over here so essentially you just go 12 over from here make sure it's even with this and then go ahead and fill this in with white concrete and then one more row so only fill in one row here before you do this and then should actually be up one row higher. I make the correction later in the video, but for now, just move it up one higher. Uh, from this section here, you're gonna make a, it's a three by five window, so you can go one, two, three, high, so then two, three, four, five. You can fill this up, fill that, those three up like that. And then go ahead, fill in the rest of the window. Oops, you have an extra one there. So then you can go ahead and take this and just bring this all the way across. Uh, pretty easy, pretty easy to do. And you can actually, now that we've got the window in, you can fill in this section here. Just go ahead and fill this all in with white concrete. So we've got the, the majority of the wall done here. 
And then what you're going to want to actually do, so you, you add in another row of the stripped acacia right here. Because this will be what gives us a nice big uh, square window essentially. Because what we're going to want to do is have a 5x5 five five window using the black glass. So make sure one, two, three, four, five. So then we can go ahead and fill this whole thing in with the black glass panes. Glass panes are always a bit of a hassle to work with since you got to be so... Uh, since this has such a small hitbox when it's like this. Okay, so then uh, as you can see things are kind of starting to come up a bit here. It, it looks pretty cool. I actually really like this this build. I think it looks cool. Um, so then what you can do is take your light gray concrete at the edge here, come up all the way to the point where you're one above this acacia line right here. And that's going to be essentially where we're going to take this whole uh, gray thing across the edge. So I want to just go ahead and fill this part in. And you can bring it out two because that's our, I guess it's actually three because that's how thick it is down here. And that'll be important because that'll actually go around quite a bit of the building. So go ahead, bring this, fill this in for three. Oh, and actually before I forget, there is right here, you should leave this one, so this is going to be one, two, three. So four blocks from this side, leave this spot open, because we're going to put another redstone lamp here, uh, so it kind of hangs halfway down. And then you can actually take this a little bit further over here. So now that we've done, actually we can just count this out this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we want to go another 15 blocks, so 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So this is 25 total long this way. Let's then go ahead and take this, fill it in. And then once again, since this spot right here is going to be, you see how this lines up with the center of this? Oh, I apologize. This is actually, um, this should be up one higher. I apologize for that. This window should actually be up two from here. And it should look like this. So now that we have that done, go ahead. Remember this one right here, we're not going to fill in because we want it to, uh, we want to put a lantern there. And then essentially what you can do again, similar to what we did down here, uh, is take these, these acacia half slabs and cover every spot so it goes two out. Uh, remember, do not cover this one because that's where we're going to put the redstone lamp. So just make sure it comes out too. Go ahead and fill it out right here too. Kind of just filling this in for right now. It's pretty, pretty easy to follow, I think. Okay, so now we kind of have the basic uh, front of the house completed, except for uh, the balcony here, which really it's not it's not difficult. Essentially, this is just going to be too high. So from here, you can go up another one and take this all the way across the edge here. So we get it looking like that. And then you can do a similar thing here. Well, you do the same thing here with the acacia slabs where you just add these in. Just do it for right here for now. Um, we will take it all the way. Actually, we'll take this one all the way to the edge or one away from the edge over here because that, that works pretty easily. Um, just for sticking on the same spot. This way it stays like that. So essentially we have the front of the building uh, complete for the most part. And actually one thing we can do while we're here, go ahead get your quartz stairs. And we're gonna take these and you're gonna do this. So one, two, three, four, and then five. Oops. 
Five? No. Perfect. Because the way that this is going to work, these are going to come up like this. It, I think it looks cool. Uh, once again, that's that's entirely up to your own preference. So the next is going to be this section over here. So for this part, you're we're going to be adding in the two windows that you might have seen at the beginning. Okay, so in order to start this off, you want to go up three blocks, so two, three. Go ahead and do this for the entirety of this uh, section right here, all the way up until uh, this area over here. It's two, three. Okay. So then what you're going to do is at the third layer you're going to you're going to want to put uh, one more on top of it. And then this is actually going to be where you uh, put some you start the beginnings of the wall or of the um, protrusion that sticks out from the wall. So then what you want to do is take this right here like that because this part right here is actually going to be in this corner take your stripped acacia go ahead we're actually gonna do this so that way we can get the sorry we'll just do this so then you go up two here then go over one two three four five and on the fifth one you'll actually want to uh, place another two go ahead and fill these in the glass panes and then you can surround this whole thing with white concrete quickly this this white concrete won't even really show um, just because of how the build actually works so then from here go ahead go up two more so you got a total of one two three spaces above this acacia And then once again, you're just going to put two windows here. And then have the same format here where you come out to here. Then fill it with black glass panes. A lot of the builds just creating similar structures, so it, it keeps it pretty easy to do. So what you can actually do with this wall is take it all the way up this so this this height will be the same as the front part of the house so go ahead and make those even like that and then you can actually go ahead and fill this in so now that we've got that part done you can you can just easily add in the little uh, part that goes around it and the one thing about here is that this will actually connect uh, to the other one by keeping it around the acacia and kind of like framing it like this. So it's it's something that I think is pretty neat about this build. I don't think uh, it's something that you know I would have thought of doing beforehand, but seeing this build I just thought it was really cool looking. So then go ahead and take this one all the way to the side here and then match it here. So then we essentially just do the same thing, the same pattern where we take the stripped acacia wood, go up to Go up to fill this in. And that's really all I need for that part. Then we're gonna do bring this up so that way it's basically even with these parts. And then go ahead fill the white concrete in above this and to the side of it. The reason you want to go to the side of it is once again because we're gonna be bringing it uh, that same uh, little wraparound style. So one thing we can actually do right here is build this up so that way it looks pretty even because it's easy to uh, remember where to put the windows on this one because you just follow the same as this. So then go ahead and take your light gray concrete, put it around these windows again. Uh, and this is this is just the style of window that I like. If, if you like something other than this, feel free to do that. I just, I really like the kind of like modular thing. I, I don't know. It looks, it looks kind of futuristic and modern to me, but that's, that's just what I think. So 
Maybe your thoughts are different. That's fine. There's no problem with that. We can actually take this all the way up to the top here. And so that's it's pretty simple. I mean, really not too much going on here. Just kind of fill this in again with the white concrete. Because remember, we the windows are going to be on the same level. So essentially, there's going to be gray, uh, the light gray concrete here again. So that should be one, two, three above this one. And then you can go ahead, put your acacia wood to high right here. One, two, three, go over. More acacia. Fill it in with black glass panes. And then uh, fill in the sides of this. So don't take this section all the way to the top because this, this section of the roof, you can kind of see like where it cuts right here. This is actually going to be shorter than this half. We just want to make sure that we have enough room to actually uh, put the light gray concrete in there to kind of frame the build. So then with that, you can go ahead and fill this in. Essentially for this part, uh, that's that's really all you need to do for the windows there. I like I said, I just think it's cool. Um, you you 100% don't have to do the windows exactly like that if you don't want. Uh, you can do them in a different style, but that's just how I like to do it. So then the next step will be this back face. So for the back face, I think that the easiest way to start this is actually by just doing the uh, deck. So what I think looks cool is using the acacia wood like this and just kind of putting it one above here and then right here we'll actually leave a spot for stairs. So you put the acacia stairs like this and frame it like that. I, I, I just think this looks really cool for the deck. And then what you can do here is actually just fill it in with either acacia slabs or planks. And if you want, you can actually bring these up. Uh, it'll be four blocks high, so three, four. That way, you just kind—you kind of know where you're working with right there. And then finish filling this in with the slabs. And similarly to this side, just kind of fill this in so you can see where the walls are going to be at. So then what you're going to want to do is take the, uh, you're going to want to actually make one more uh, thing of white concrete here to kind of give this like a little bit of a barrier from this section. Um, you can actually take this one all the way up for now. And then one above this. So, uh, Go ahead and take your black glass pane, go two over, um, take your acacia door, put two of them right here. Oh, actually, I apologize, that's, that's not a black glass pane, that's just straight up black glass. So take your black stained glass, Fill these in. Just kind of frame the door a little bit. Two over. And then that's going to be your door to out here. For this section, uh, basically on all of the non stripped acacia or the non planks, just go ahead and put that with planks. Kind of gives it a cool little, uh, a cool look for a deck, I think. I, I really like the look of just putting glass panes. I don't know, maybe, maybe you like something else, but I like that. I think that looks really cool as a porch. Um, so then you can go ahead and fill in one more thing above this. Actually, you can go two above this. Sorry. 
and then uh, fill this in into the same pipe. So then we just kind of have it like that, and then the reason that we can fill it into two here is we're going to take this, the light gray concrete, we're going to put it just like this, and then this is going to be where it comes up, because you don't want you don't want this part of the concrete to touch. It would look, I think at that point it would look much stranger. Um, and then what we're going to do is put acacia right here, and we're going to go up five, so one, two... Three, four, five. Actually, I apologize, that should only be four. And then take these two over. And we can fill this part in with like concrete. Skip one. Fill this in with white concrete. here. So we have that little uh, 2x4 window and then go ahead and outline that with the light gray concrete. So there's that section. Uh, pretty pretty simple. Pretty easy to do. Um, so on this one, now that we've gone, this is four blocks high here, you actually want to take uh, Sorry, add another row here. Make it five blocks. Take your light gray concrete, put it right here. This will be the outline for another one of these. So then go all the way over to the side until there's two blocks left here. So this will be another uh, part of your windows. Essentially just keep adding in stuff for windows. You can, you can actually fill this in. This will make this easier to fill in this half already. this the thing about these you can line the white concrete up with the edge of this since this will go uh, basically over this concrete so keeps it easy to remember then fill in the second row here with white concrete so essentially I just wanted to make sure everything was framed correctly. So then you can go ahead and take the light gray concrete, fill it around this thing. Oops, sorry, not like that. Simple enough. And then take your uh, stripped acacia wood and on the white concrete, just go all the way up with it, only one deep. Same for this side. And then you can go ahead and fill this in with uh, black glass panes. Uh, I just think that the, the black glass looks really good for modern houses. But if you want to use a different color, feel free. I mean, you could even use a different color for of the wood. I just like the way the acacia looks here. So then you, uh, you essentially have this, this face done. And you can go ahead and take this wall over here. Bring this all the way up. We can actually raise the roof up so it's only two blocks down from this. So you can go ahead and do this. So you see how I got that two block gap here. This section of the house will be uh, will only go up to here. Then you can actually take this this wall. Uh, you can take this up the whole thing just to match that height. Okay, so now that we've got that wall done, you can go ahead and bring this thing up uh, seven high on all sides. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you can do that from this side. Two, three, five, six, seven. I just think it's easy outlining the frame like this. <clears throat> and then just kind of filling things in from there.
So you don't have to connect those two because there's actually going to be a, uh, a white wall right here. Which will actually be one inside of this, so... Okay, so now that you've done that part, that little inside thing, you can actually fill the top of this with white concrete. You don't fill this part though, because you want this you want this little bit of uh, depth right here. It'll it'll help when we finish it uh, after this essentially, because otherwise it just looks weird and it looks too flat on the side, so it gives it a bit more depth. So go ahead and take this up. Uh, that'll be four. So one, two, three, four. And then you can fill in this line. So now that we've filled that, you can actually take this. Uh, so there's a one gap difference here. So you take another two acacia here. You can set them like this. Two high, two high here. Then you skip over one, two, three, and then go another two high here. And that's going to be where your window's at on this side, so you can go ahead and connect the tops of these with white concrete. And then fill this in with the black glass panes. And then go ahead and outline this with the uh, like gray concrete. Yeah, I kept these two. I made this one giant window because when I was doing the practice build, I just thought it looked pretty cool as it like connected like that. You definitely don't have to do that. You can do separate windows here if you want, but I, I like the look of that. <clears throat> so now that we got the window filled in, we can go ahead and fill the rest of this in. That's, that's entirely up to how you want to design it. So what we can do is actually take this up uh, to the same level over here. Okay, so that works there. And then what you're going to want to do, remember how uh, right here we actually have it. So um, this section will go up a bit higher. So you can go ahead and fill this corner in. What you'll want is to bring this out. Because essentially the goal with this part is to just have these be equal here. So you see how these are going to be the same height? It just makes it easier. So if you want, you can even do this. Um, bring it over. This will help ensure that you got it uh, the correct length. So those connect there. That's awesome. That's exactly what we need. And then for this section, go ahead and fill this whole thing in up to this height. Not this one, uh, this height instead. So what we'll do, we'll just bring this over like that. So that works. It works a little bit easier, I think, when you do it that way. And then what we can do here is bring this uh, too high part around again, because I think that just helps make it look a bit nicer okay so we've got we've got a majority of the house done except for uh, this face basically <clears throat> so uh, one of the things that we can do now is actually start on the bottom part here so take these two high just just to match it with this go ahead take that all the way back to that acacia uh, you can fill this in if you want you don't have to I mean nothing's gonna spawn in there so I'm just gonna fill it in like this And then what I like to do personally for this part, because it makes the door look a bit bigger, is so I'll go up one, two, three, place the door here and here. I just, I like, I like how that looks when you extend the door on uh, that manner. So then you can go ahead and do this. And there's your door. Take this out. And then actually these two don't need to be here. Cause what I, what I think looks good here is putting in the glass panes again. Uh, essentially just kind of give it a little bit more openness to it. And actually, before I forget, we should raise this to the same height. There's that part right there. Okay, so now that we've got this, we can actually go too high right here. 
So take it to above the door. And then that looks good. And actually you can bring it to the point where it's flush with this. So essentially up one other layer. Because what we want to do here is uh, have this be mainly the outline and then we kind of want it to look similar to the porch back here with the slabs. So for now what we're going to do is go ahead and fill in the rest of this. Okay, so now what you can do is take all of the acacia slabs and do the top part of this. Perfect. And then what you can actually do with this is similar to the back porch. Just take that, uh, the black stained glass panes, bring them all the way around on top of the gray concrete. It just looks, it looks cool, it looks modern, I mean, I, I tried it with a couple different things and it just didn't look as good, I'd say, but I liked how this ended up looking. So then, you know, you got this nice little overhang here, it, lo it looks pretty cool. You can take, uh, once again, you're going to use the black glass here, and you're going to make sure that you have two spots on each side, so two, two. And we're going to do just basically sim the same door style that we have down on that porch where it's just the black stained glass goes one over. It just looks, it's easy to do, it looks nice, looks modern. Because what I was thinking is you could originally have like a sliding door there, but without using pistons and everything that's kind of difficult. So most sliding glass doors are glass anyway, I mean it's in the name. <laughs> so. I think that works out pretty easily. And then uh, put another layer here, and then you can go ahead and do two, a two high uh, window here. Essentially what this does is it keeps it even with that, and it, look, it, it just looks nice to have those even. If they were asymmetrical, it would kind of uh, draw attention to itself, which isn't something that you really want to do here. And then you can go ahead, one, two, three, take these out. So essentially just make sure that this is three out from each side. So for example, one. So it just kind of, it's nice to have that little bit of overhang. So similar to there, you want to make sure that it comes out three here. So one, two, three. But it's only going to go out two on this side because this will wrap around the rest of the house. Okay, so then the next step that I'm going to do uh, here, which I'm just going to cut to a time lapse, I'm just going to fill in this roof part. I just think that'll be easy to get what we want out of the looks. And... Okay, so we have the roof completely filled in. <clears throat> what you're going to want to do next is take this light gray concrete and on this lower part of the wall, just come two out on all spots. So I'll go ahead and just cut to that quick. So we got that part of it done with just the gray concrete. So then what you can do is go ahead and uh, take this, make sure it's one away from the edge and just fill this in. So filled that half in now we can fill the part that's over the porch so remember this one's going to be too deep based on this now that we have the uh basic this is basically the entirety of the house so that's that's basically it if you're not trying to add any more of the details um one thing i am going to do is add in the redstone lights which is where the carpet the redstone torches are going to come in so I'm just going to go ahead and do that quick, so let me grab some uh, redstone torches. And the redstone lamps. Oh, and then the gray carpet. You want to go with the light gray carpet because that'll kind of blend in with the uh, concrete. So the way I do it is you just put it uh, down there, put the torch here, and then carpet there. I mean, you can carpet the whole thing if you want. But I just like how that kind of hangs down halfway. I think that looks really cool. Um, 
Oh, actually, another thing we need to do is fill this in. So here's where you kind of get a little bit of liberty to uh, fill this in. So I like to do it like this, where the lights are. Uh, so we go one, two, three. Um, actually, I think that's supposed to be a little more. One, two, three. One, two, three. So uh, you can put the lights however you want. I mean, that's it's entirely up to you. These wall ones, it's easy just to do that. Fill that back in. Do the same thing here. Because basically what this will do is it'll make it look like they hang halfway down. And I think that just looks really cool. So then you can go one, two, three, four. Uh, this is actually where you put the torch. One, two, three. So, now that we've got these things spaced out, we can just go ahead and fill this in with the slabs. Okay, so there you have the garage part done. So another thing you can do, you add one in here. Oops. Like I said, I just think they look really cool with that. And then what I like to do is also add some up in here. Just basically give it a little bit more lighting in there, make it a little bit easier to see. And then from here you can do it based on uh, this thing, so you can actually do, do it like that. And then you want another one in this corner, because otherwise your corner is going to be very poorly lit and you don't want that. So just go halfway in between that. So you're kind of just adding these in uh, where it looks the best and to the point where it looks kind of even. And like I said, you could you could put a totally different light source here. You don't have to do the the redstone. That's that's entirely up to you. Um, I just I like how it looks there. So yeah, that's that's essentially how you'd build the house. And then. Uh, you can add in stuff to make it look a little bit nicer um, around the front. Like so, for example, this is this is the example house I have. I just added some gardening stuff in front of here. It's like as you can see, a lot of leaves, a lot of flowers, uh, and I raised the ground up once so that way the flowers could be right in front of it. Added some grass. Uh, I just think it looks good that way. And then another thing you can do, you can add in like a patio set. This is a super simple one, just black stone, black carpet, and then chains. I think it looks cool like that. You don't have to do it. But yeah, so looking all around the build, I, I think this looks good. I like how it looks. It looks abstract. I love this porch. Um, but yeah, so if you got this far in the video, thank you for watching the entirety of the thing. I hope that you enjoy it. You enjoyed it. And uh, that if you can, if you build it, you, you like how it looks on your server, and if, if you like this uh, video uh, and you plan to build this, go ahead, give me a like, maybe consider subscribing, or comment down below if there's things you think that would look better in this. I'm always open to suggestions. I, I like hearing people's feedback. I think it looks cool. Uh, it's cool to have people build it. It's cool to have people give suggestions. So, yeah, if you like the building series, you can go ahead and check out the one uh, the link below, I've included that as well. So other than that, thank you everybody for getting this far. Uh, hope you have a good day.